Okay, today we are going to be doing something a little bit more fun, at least in my opinion, it's a little bit more fun. Um, we're gonna be covering my first book haul, on, book haul on the channel. And I'm someone who, for whatever dumb reason, I've, in my head, there's only been two options for getting books. Either the library, which I've done from time to time, or really the, what I've done most commonly is gone to like Barnes and Noble or, or some other new bookstore um, and got my books that way. However, I, and I'm someone who I appreciate, I prefer rather the older editions that the library has. I think they're, the covers are a little bit more unique and cool rather than just the covers you see all the time in Barnes and Noble and what we're used to. Um, and I realized, and I don't know why this never crossed my mind before, but why not go and check out used bookstores where I can save money and get the cool editions that I like. Um, so that is what I did all Sunday. I went a little bit crazy. I bought way too many books, but um, to my pleasant surprise, you know, what it cost me was just the price of like three or four new books at Barnes and Noble. So I was really, really happy. And like I said, I went out kind of in a good 30 minute driving range and hit up all the used bookstores in my area. And I came w away with quite a haul. Um, don't really have much space on my bookshelf uh, for these books, but that's for another video. I'm looking, hopefully, uh, to pick up a bookshelf at some point. A new, another bookshelf, that is. Um, so without any further ado, let's go and cover the actual books I got. Um, if you guys have been watching my other reviews, you'll know that I've been looking for um, more like quick, easy reads um, to balance out my Malazan, Malazan read-through. Um, so I went ahead and picked up some Discworld books. Um, and like I said, quite a few. Um, but just to put in perspective, this wasn't the used book store haul, but this is like 10 bucks at Barnes and Noble. And the, all the Discworld books at this uh, used book store I, I went to, they were like two bucks to three bucks a piece. So I went ahead and got, let's put these a little bit in order. Um, but I went ahead and got more, I have already read Small Gods. Um, that was my kind of intro into Discworld. I loved it. Um, and they're so fun, they're so easy, um, and they're so quick. It's like the perfect palate cleanser, in my opinion. Um, if you're reading something heavier, more dense, um, requires more of your, your focus. With these books, it's easier to just kind of turn your brain off and just enjoy the story. Um, and I did a little bit of background um, on Discworld, uh, kind of where to start, because I actually went out and um, like two weeks ago, picked up The Color of Magic. This is Small Gods, I've got too many books around. Um, picked up Color of Magic from my um, local Barnes and Noble. And then I came home and like everything online said, don't start with Color of Magic, you don't wanna read in publication order. Um, start with either the Death series or um, most people recommended Night, I think it's the Night Watch series, um, which is uh, Guards, Guards is the start of that. Um, but from everything I, I saw online, the uh, Terry Pratchett's depiction of death to me was just like too, too good to pass up. Everyone says that it's like out of any media, even across fantasy, um, you know, reaching onto TV, other forms of media, um, Terry Pratchett's depiction of death is supposed to be one of the best out there. Um, and I do love some character driven um, stories. Um, I'm a character focused reader. so. I went ahead and picked up Mort, which is the first one in the Death series of Discworld. Um, and then following that same vein, I picked up Reaper Man, which I'll show you. See, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, cool, old uh, cover art, which I was a big, big fan of. Then I picked up Hog's Father, which I believe is the third installment. Like I said, I went a little bit crazy here. Thief of Time, which is also part of that. And I think the only one, as I bend down to look, the only one I'm missing out of the Death series is um, the last one, which I'm forgetting the name of. I think it might be Death's Door or something like that. Um, but let me know in the comments. So that was my Discworlds haul. That alone would have been a ton. And oh, I forgot. I also picked up Soul Magic, Soul Music rather, which is another one in the Death series. Um, and once again, another cool cover for you guys. Um, so I was thrilled with that. Um, finding that little tre treasure trove. Um, that's the other thing I like about 
used bookstores, it's like, you don't really walk in and, you know, go, okay, I'm going to get this book. It's more like, well, let's see what they have and go from there, um, which I'm a big fan of. So those were all my Discworld books. I was thrilled, thrilled with those. Um, and then at that same used bookstore, I picked up, oh yes, the first and second installment in the Live Ship Trader series. I have the other one around here somewhere, but this is, I think this is the first installment. I do have the second one, it just can't find it at the moment. There's quite a few books going around and I might've left it actually on my bookshelf was likely what I did. But once again, nice, another nice, cool, older edition um, I'm a big fan of rather than, I don't know, I just don't love the, I don't love most modern fantasy covers. Um, I think these fun, more like graphic ones um, are just a little bit more fun and a little bit more interesting to me, but to each their own, nothing against anybody who likes the current, more modern art that you see. Um, so then moving away from that, I'm also at some point planning on reading the Dark Tower series. Um, I have a complicated relationship with the stand, stand going on right now. Um, that's for a video all on its own. But, um, and I think there's nothing against, I don't have anything against the stand. I think it's a really good book, but it's taking me a long time to get through it um, for a few other reasons. And like I said, I might make a whole new video um, on that topic alone, so I won't go into it here. But I picked up, picked up The Gunslinger, um, which is the first uh, installment in Dark Tower, obviously. And I actually didn't realize it because I haven't done too much research on The Dark Tower yet. But I thought um, it's actually a lot shorter than I was expecting. So, um, And just another cool older edition. Carrying on with Stephen King, I saw this edition and I just couldn't pass it up. I do want to read more King this year. Um, so when I saw this... I just, I mean, I love a good laminated cover, um, kind of give you that right, that library feel to it. Um, there's something very nostalgic about that, to me anyways. So I went ahead and picked up The Eyes of the Dragon, simply because it's King, so I know it's going to be pretty good. Um, I know it's not one of his more popular books, but I mean, look at it. It looks too good not to have on your shelf. So um, that is, was the main driving force behind that one. And then let's see here. Um, and then last, well, not quite last, um, but I'm reading through Faithful on the Fallen. I've read through the first two, um, Malice and is it Wrath? I uh, don't quote me on that. But I'm reading through Faithful on the Fallen. Um, I'm halfway through that series, and I'm loving it so far. I took a little bit of a break between it, books two and three, but I've been meaning to get back into it. So once again. Um, I saw at a used bookstore I was at the John Gwynn's next series, which I think is complete, so it's a trilogy. Um, I don't know too much about it other than I know I like Faithful and the Fallen, and I'm a big fan of John Gwynn, so I have a lot of faith in this series. I couldn't even tell you the name of the series, the uh, trilogy. Um, but they had all three, and once again, just big, nice books. Um, love the cover art. They're going to look, look good on the shelf. Um, and it also gives me a little bit of motivation to uh, finish Faithful in the Fallen and move on to other um, works by John Gwynn. And from the reviews, I've, or the little bit I've heard on this series, um, it, it's almost, you know, just as good as Faithful in the Fallen, which sets a very, very high bar. So I'm excited for that as well. And then, so that is the used bookstore haul. Sorry, I keep on dipping off camera to set these down. Um, but I did pick up um, one book from Barnes & Noble. It was, it's been on my TBR for a while, um, and I haven't seen it in any bookstores, really. So um, when I was out and about on Sunday, I did stop at Barnes & Noble just because I'm someone who I could spend, and I pretty much did spend all day on Sunday in Barnes & Noble. So it's, it was a book I was looking for for a while, and that is uh, Fonda Lee's Jade City. I was actually pretty surprised they were carrying it, to be honest. I know it's not. I think it's breaking through. A lot of people are, are starting to recognize it as a really good work. Um, so I think you'll see it more and more on the shelves of bigger bookstores. But at least for me, I was surprised they had it. So um, yeah, that wraps up the book haul. I, go, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like I said, the main haul was all the Discworld books. I'm excited to read those kind of as palette cleansers. 
alongside Dresden Files. Um, just to keep myself fresh, um, I, I am absolutely loving Malazan. It is hard for me to um, read these palate cleansers and kind of take myself away from Malazan, but I'm someone who I'll get lost in the progress of a series. I'll, um, I'll burn myself out, basically. I need to force myself to, okay, I just read a 1,200-page dense, dense novel um, that required a lot of brain power. I really need to read like a Dresden or a, a Discworld and force myself to reset, um, which is what I've found to avoid burnout and keep reading, um, which is obviously the goal. There's so much, so much content out there, um, which is we're really, really spoiled right now in the fantasy genre. So you're never going to not have something to read. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, a little bit of a different video. Let me know um, what you guys thought, what your guys thoughts are on what I picked up. Um, if you've read them, if you recommend them. Um, if you hear, heard something bad about them or you have criticisms, feel free to drop those too. Um, I'm open to all opinions. Um, but anyways, the moral of the story is, guys, if you don't already, go check out your local used bookstore.